Hey guys, Andy here. It's been a while, so I thought we'd better catch up and uh, tell you about what we're doing here in the country. So we're here in uh, rural Victoria, part of it that's uh, quite beautiful and tranquil here at the moment. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna photograph ourselves a nebula tonight, a really nice one. And what we're gonna use is this fantastic telescope here. It's a Newtonian telescope as invented by Isaac Newton way back in 1600 and something or other and the, really the concept hasn't changed much since. So what we're seeing is uh, effectively a, a very long tube and way down inside it down there you'll see there's a mirror and what happens there is light travels down the tube and it runs up to a secondary mirror at the top and then gets uh, deflected towards the camera. And the camera is quite a sensitive thing, it's a CCD camera and it's got a filter wheel in it which runs red, green, blue luminance filters for this particular nebula, we don't need narrowband. That's the beautiful thing about being in the country here is that um, we get crisp clear skies, no light pollution and so obviously for this kind of photography that's critical and really really important. Uh, tonight's target is in the Orion area. Now, it's pretty easy no matter where you are in the world to find Orion because you just look up you find three bright stars in a row and that's Orion's belt, Orion the Hunter. And if you're in the southern hemisphere as we are, just look up above Orion's belt and you'll see a fuzzy patch. You can see it with your naked eye and that's the great Orion Nebula. It's one of the most popular targets for astrophotography that it, there is. But we're not going for that one. We're going for one nearby called M78. It's sometimes known as the Headlight Nebula and it's a star forming region. So it's also a reflection nebula. So it's not an emission nebula where we see a bunch of hydrogen being emitted. This one's actually a bunch of hot young stars and they're reflecting their blue light off a bunch of dust with what they call the rally effect. Much the same as what the reason we have these beautiful blue skies above us right now. It's the same thing. So we're gonna see two very bright headlights, if you like, um, silhouetted against the night sky. I had a go at this last night and I'll show you my test shot. I'll just wheel you over here to the to the computer and if you look in there you'll see a little bit, sorry about the reflection guys, but you'll see a little bit of the reflect of the reflection nebula. You can see how it's got that blue area and some dust lanes. So we'll throw the shot up on the screen later if we have a proper look. What you're seeing there is 1,500 light years away. How long's a light year? Well, it's the distance light travels in a year, and that's a million, million kilometers. Yes, you heard that right. That's a trillion kilometers. That's a long, long way. And that nebula that you were just looking at is five light years across. Isn't that amazing? The distances and stuff, it's crazy what's happening out there in space. So tonight we've got some data on this with our telescope. The telescope, by the way, uh, runs at f4, so it's quite fast. The focal length is 1,140 millimeters. And did you see my fancy new mount? We pimped it. So this thing actually came out in originally a fairly ghastly green color, which I couldn't really live with. So a good friend of mine pulled it apart and we powder coated it in its beautiful new Apollo 11 gold and silver colors. So now it looks kind of sexy too. Okay, so it's a boy thing, you know, that's how it is. Um, tonight we're gonna get some more data on this object and get a really nice crisp clear shot. The more data you get, the less noise you get, the clearer your pictures become and it looks really really nice. So that's why we're here in the country. We're gonna have a fantastic night, it's super clear and uh, wish us luck. We should have a really really nice picture to show you in the next day or so. See you later guys, Andy signing off.